So this time we're going to look at two systems for when we fall off the edge of the map. The first one is going to be easy and the second one slightly more complicated. So let's give it a try. What we're going to use is what we call a box trigger. And this is just an invisible collision test, which we can scale up by hitting R um, and making it nice and big. Ultimately, you're going to want this any sort of feasible place that your player might reach. It doesn't really so much match about depth um, as it does width. So I'm just going to scale this up so it pretty much covers everything. Okay, to make this more obvious, I'm just going to increase the line thickness a bit. Um, maybe say to 15 and let's change the color in it to red. Oh, well, I guess orange in that case. I didn't actually change the color of the shape, but what you're going to do doesn't really matter. So now we've got this collision, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up in our level blueprint. So let's go to blueprint, open level blueprint. Um, and in some space, what you want to do is you want to right click because we've already got it selected, it's referencing the trigger box. So we can go to add event, collision, begin, overlap. And we're going to say when this begins, when this collides with our third person character, which is the name of the default character that we get in Unreal, we are basically going to respawn um, the player. But the easy way to do this, and I'll just do this on a quick delay. So just tell D um, and left click for delay. You don't necessarily need the delay. I'm just going to reopen the level. Now we can either tap in the current level's name. Um, which is called the person example map, or we should be able to use get level name. No, can we not get level name? Get level name, get current level name. That's because it's a separate node. So considering this is just a restart, we're actually switching any levels. We can just do this. Let's give this a test, make sure it works. And we can see that it did work. It's probably a bit high. Um, I might actually just move it a little bit lower. So we've got, it feels like a little bit of a fall. Cool. And we can see that that worked. Next, actually, let's set up a, a checkpoint system. So what we're going to want to do is put some target points down. And I'm just going to put one here for now. And instead of using these, which I'll just move out of the way and deselect, to deselect it, break it, hold Alt and click. I'm going to create my reference for my target point. And I'm going to say, get world location. Like this. And I'm going to get my player character. And get reference to my player character. And I'm going to say set world location. Set world location. And we want to do it for the capsule component. There it is. So let's just test this, see if this works. So this is what we want. We're going to set it there. We actually might need to add a bit of height to this because it might spawn in the ground. Oh no, it worked. It's fine. It looks a bit dodgy, but I'm just going to, so I'll just increase the height a little bit. So now instead, when we fall off, instead of loading the level, um, it spawns there. So there's two sort of systems benefits for doing this, really. Loading the level means if anything actually happens, um, like in the scene, I've got these balls, which are going to trigger and fall down when they're close to them. So this action happens, and now if I fall off, and reload that action, that event has already taken place. So those balls will never fall again. However, on level load, they'll be re they'll be there all over again. So it's definitely worth um, bearing that in mind um, for whichever sort of system you want. This one will restart everything. This system will um, just sort of respawn you. 
let's say for example, let's build on this a bit more, and let's say at a certain point you want to trigger the checkpoint, or maybe you want to restart the checkpoint. So we'll do it, we're just doing this a, a similar way actually, um, through like box triggers again. So let's say when we get to, just for the sake of test, once we get past, um, once we make it up to the top and jump down, let's put a nice big box collision here. That way the player's not gonna miss that. Um, and we'll just, similar to how we did the one before, we'll just track this add a collision on actor begin overlap um, and we'll do integers so we're going to create a variable and we'll call this checkpoint um, int so checkpoint int we need to change it to an integer so in the top right instead of it being a boolean we're going to be an integer um, so if we overlap with checkpoint one, I'm just gonna grab this, get reference to it, get. Oops, sorry, first we need to say, if you overlap with third person character, just like we did before. So if you overlap with third person character, we want to set this, set, um, we'll just do it there, sorry, grab it and we can set it. Set it to, we'll just set this to one, but we could have, you know, five different boxes, each of which would set to a different location. So now we're gonna just change this code up a little bit more. I'm gonna break it again. Grab you, move you slightly out of the way. And this time we're going to say, um, we're going to ask the question. So we're going to get our checkpoint value. And we're going to say, um, we'll actually do, we'll do a, a switch on int. Switch on int. And what a switch does is basically it's going to look at the value of this integer and say, depending on what value it is when we ask this question, it'll do different things. So for example, if we're, if we're set to zero, so if we've not hit any checkpoints, then we'll get current level name and restart it. However, if we have hit um, the first checkpoint, we'll spawn a target point. Um, let me actually move my target point. Da, 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 da. So let's give this a test. So if I've not hit a checkpoint yet, it should reload the level, which it has. However, if I make it up the hill and hit the checkpoint, I might actually want to move that, make sure it's in the right place. Um, and fall off. Notice it spawned me at a checkpoint. So we could have lots of different systems here. We could set up lots of these. Um, basically this right here is all we need to do, but setting it to the relevant number. And then that's going to do a check. Like I said, it's slightly more complicated system, um, but it's gonna do a lot for you. Um, yeah.